so if you ever wanted to set up uh, some sort of uh, syntax highlighting for your emacs like a syntax checker for your emacs there's a package called PyCheck. so you can install that by using like first let me open up my init.el so control x control f dot emacs dot d and init.el let me increase the font size with control x control plus so here in the bottom i have added uh, like uh, uh, somewhere over here yeah so here i have added like uh, a package setup for fly check all i need to do is like uh, use package fly check and ensure t to make sure it's installed and i'm going to specify the configuration with the global fly check mode is true so after you do that you just need to specify this and uh, you need to save your init.el so control x control s to save your init then control x control e to execute that so after you execute that uh, your package manager will grab this and install it to your emacs and if i open up something like uh, i have this file and reasons called 1.c so i'm going to hit tab to navigate to that and hit enter so control x control plus so this is like uh, something very basic like it will display like hello from emacs so if i remove the semicolon you can see this uh, red highlight it's giving and in the bottom you can see like expected semicolon before return so if i hit semicolon you can see like it's there is gone so if you make any syntax errors uh, fly check is going to give you like suggestions or like warnings for that matter so it's purely based on uh, the things you use so for c it's going to use clang or uh, gcc for python i think it requires like pylint or something you can uh, refer through the website like uh, the home page of uh, flycheck and you can see like uh, which package you need to use uh, like which package you need to have installed in your computer before using flycheck for uh, syntax highlighting so i will provide a link in the description which will lead you to the website of flycheck mm. the next one is we can use expand region for like uh, quicker selection in emacs so let's open up our configuration file control x control f dot uh, d and in it l something new so i'm just going to use like expand region use dash package and expand dash region and ensure t for uh, making sure it's installed then we can add some key bindings to expand the region for that we can specify bind and we can specify our preferred key binding so for my case i'm just going to use capital c that is for control and equals so that will like uh, expand my selection so i can specify the command for that er for expand region slash and expand region so that's the command for uh, like expand dash region so that's the command you manually specify by hitting mode and x that is uh, alt and x meta key and x then the next key binding is like uh, we can contract or uh, reduce the selection so control and i'm going to specify minus for this then space and dot er spot slash uh, instead of expand region i'm going to use uh, contract dash region I'm going to close that out and i'm going to close this one you can do something like uh, control x control s to save our init file control x control e to execute so what this does is this will grab like uh, the expand region package from our package manager source which we have set up for from melpa or elpa so after that if you need to expand the region if you hit like uh, 
control and equals you can see it expands so if i hit control equals again it's going to expand the region so if i need to reduce i can specify like control minus so if you want some sort of uh, graphical file browser you can use like Trimax, so it helps you in navigating through like projects or something so along with Trimax, you can also install projectile if you want use package Trimax, then ensure t so this will make sure we have uh, Trimax available so if i hit like ctrl x ctrl s to save my configuration and ctrl x ctrl e to execute that it's going to grab uh, Trimax from helper and install it on our system meta x and if i search like uh, Trimax, and if i hit enter you can see this is like Trimax. so now it will ask you for a project root if you haven't specified projectile like if you haven't installed projectile so i'm going to specify like dot uh, emacsd is my project root if i hit enter you can see Trimax is giving us so you can navigate by default from Trimax to other window like like ctrl x and o i'm sorry so if i hit ctrl x o and come back here and i can set up something like uh, key binding but before that uh, let me set up one more package so that's called projectile specifying so projectile is very easy projectile so projectile helps you with your project management stuff so if you have some directory with uh, git um, something like uh, bundle for ruby or something like that in your directory it's going to automatically recognize that directory as a project and like when we launched our tree max it asked like the project directory so if you have project tile installed it's going to automatically recognize which directory you are in as like the current project something like that based on the files you have in that like you can create a dot project or uh, if you have something like a git directory or a bundle or something it's going to recognize that use dash package projectile projectile hit enter ensure t and i need to specify some key bindings maybe so config here i'm going to specify define dash key so it's already giving me the suggestion define key and i'm going to specify projectile projectile dash mode up and another bracket uh, keyboard with kbd and you can specify your key binding so here for my case for the simplicity i'm going to use control x and p so shift c dash x and a space with the p so that's going to give me access to projectile if i press that key binding close that out a space and i'm going to specify like uh, projectile command map projectile dash command map and let's close that and here i'm going to specify like uh, projectile mode equals true so projectile dash mode plus one i can specify plus one and close that so currently we have set up like projectile so control x control s to save control x control e to execute so currently i have like projectile already installed so projectile helps you navigate with uh, the key binding so if you hit ctrl x and p it's going to open up projectile so here you can see it's giving you all these options so if you need to switch a buffer inside the project you hit b 
or if you need to like uh, have something you can hit like control x p p so it's telling me like there are no non projects because i don't have any other projects inside this so control x p and v to switch to project so currently i don't have any project open so if i had some project open it will like switch between those projects now since we have done projectile stuff we can go back to tree max and here we can like uh, specify key bindings for our tree max so here i have made sure it's installed i can set uh, key bindings for that so bind hit enter colon let me remove that for now and i can specify map space global and i can specify which key binding i need to use so can use something like uh, f6 f7 or something so that's entirely up to you so f6 so if i close that out and a space and a dot and i specify the command tree max close that out i can remove this as like a not richard as window by using a configuration so we can specify config and the configuration will be set q tree max dash is dash never other window and i can specify t to make sure it's true close that and close that so currently we have done everything for tree max so control x control s control x control e to execute that now if i hit like uh, f6 I can hide tree max if i hit f6 again i can bring up tree max control x o to navigate to tree max control x o to navigate back so with this f6 instead of this f6 you can specify anything you want according to your use case like you might have something specified for f6 but i don't have so i'm using that like that so i hope uh, this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day